Hey guys and welcome back. Today we are going to create another error page template which you can use in your project so that you can direct the browser to this page if anything goes wrong or if any of the page is not ready yet. It is actually just one template with different background images so you can just create one of them and then change the background image as and when you like. Now just as always I have created some starter files you can go ahead and download these starter files from the description below the link is in the description click on the link and then download the folder open the folder and it contains a img folder which contains all of the images from which you can choose and then we have this page not found.html file let's open this i'm using sublime text as the text editor you can choose any other text editor of your choice it really doesn't matter it's all about the personal choice so i have created the basic structure of the html file and we are going to create the remaining of the web page by editing this file now let's go through these statements one by one so that you can understand what these means first one is the title tag it defines the title of the web page then we have the link to the small icon that appears in the browser's tab then we have some meta information it defines how the browser behaves then we have this latest compiled and minified bootstrap these are the cdn links cdn is the content delivery network and we are not going to download these bootstrap and css files and then host them along with our website i mean you can do that but this is much better and much efficient because the chances are that you have already visited some of the website where you have used them so these css and bootstrap files must already be in your cache so it becomes easier for the browser to look for these files in the cache and access them so it makes the loading of the web page faster then we have this link to the google fonts that rubik font that we are going to use in our page then we have this style tag which contains all of the css part without wasting any more time let's get within this body tags and start our page write section then add class attribute write bg hyphen image space full screen we are going to use this bg hyphen image class to add background image to our web page begin with the comment for photo effect we are going to create a overlay class for that we are going to create a div tag first create div write class overlay then again drop down and write a comment container for the error messages then drop down and create our div tag and write class as container space align hyphen left then drop down and within this div tags create another div tag then write class as call hyphen md hyphen 12 space text hyphen white text hyphen white is going to ensure that all the text which we are going to write within this div tag will be of white font color so drop down and create a h1 tag class as py hyphen 3 space subtitle then create a span tag within this h1 tag then add style attribute to this span tag and write font hyphen style as normal then write the text as error page template then drop down and create a h2 tag then write class as py hyphen 3 then space title because this is going to be the main text of the page then write the text as oops something went wrong dot 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 then again drop down and create a p tag and write class as py hyphen 3 space display hyphen 5 
then write the text as the page you are looking for is not available. Please check the URL. Drop down and create a div tag. Class as py hyphen 4, then space back hyphen button, space center hyphen align. Then create a button tag within this div tag and write class as btn space btn hyphen lg. btn hyphen lg defines a large button, then space btn hyphen white, which is the template for a white colored button, then space hyphen link text as a hash symbol, then write text as back to site. Now let's open the file in the browser so that we can see the changes side by side. We have it now. The text is in white color so we can not see it. Anyway this completes the HTML part and now let's move to the CSS part. Now get in between those style tags in the head tag. Let's begin styling this bg hyphen image class so that we can add a background image first. Write dot bg hyphen image, then background hyphen image as URL, open bracket, then img error page dot jpg. We need to write the relative address of the error page image and refresh it. So now we have the background image. So you can see the image is inside this img folder. Now let's style this full screen class. Write display as flex. Then display hyphen webkit hyphen flex then again display hyphen m o z hyphen flex then again display hyphen o hyphen flex then display as hyphen ms hyphen flex then write align hyphen items as center hyphen webkit hyphen align hyphen items as center then min hyphen height as 100 bh then padding as 3 rem top bottom and 0 as left right Refresh the page and the background image is now in the entire screen. Then write section and background hyphen position as 50% space 50% background hyphen repeat no hyphen repeat background hyphen size as cover then background hyphen color as hash 6 times e then refresh in the page and the background image is perfectly aligned in the browser screen now. Then write section comma dot container position as relative. Then word hyphen wrap as brick word. Now let's style this overlay class. Write dot overlay, then bottom as zero, top 
S0, then right S0, then left S0, then position as absolute Z index 0, then opacity as 0 0.7. This is going to add a bit of transparency. Then write H2. Then font hyphen size as 6 REM exclamation mark important. This is going to override any value for this font hyphen size defined before. Then font hyphen family as rubic within single inverted commas. Then comma sans hyphen serif. Then font hyphen weight as 1000. Then text hyphen transform uppercase then refresh in the page all right let's style this subtitle class letter hyphen spacing 1 em and font hyphen family Rubic within single inverted commas and comma sans hyphen serif and font hyphen size as 1.5 rem refresh all right now let's style the button right dot back hyphen button space button dot btn and border hyphen radius 100 pixels this is going to change the shape of the button from that square one to something like an oval shaped then write dot back hyphen button space button dot btn colon hover you can see we have this back hyphen button class then the button tag and then the btn class so let's write box hyphen shadow zero space 10 pixels space 40 pixels space zero space rgba open bracket zero comma zero comma 0 comma 0 0.5 that is three zeros and then a 0 0.5 refresh and you can see the shadow of the button now then write dot btn colon focus comma dot btn colon hover this is going to style the btn class in general then write text hyphen decoration as none then background hyphen color as rgba 0 comma 0 comma 0 comma 0 0.3 so three zeros then a 0 0.3 Okay, refresh now you can see the hovering effect of the button then write dot back hyphen button space button transition 0 0.8 second Alright, no. 
now dot btn right background hyphen color as transparent then border as two pixels space solid space white all right now we need to change the font color also write color as white refresh in the browser so with this we have completed the error page template if you want you can change the background images and see which one you like and this completes this video. Thanks for watching.